Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm goofing around in Pago. Now, if you haven't checked your email today, I suggest you do. If you were watching the yesterday's stream and you're into decorating your ship, <laughs> you get this, a cherry tree glyph. Equipment, I've been thinking, landing craft, I thought you'd want to know. decorate. Okay, where do we want to maybe put that? I think for balance, I'm going to put it somewhere over there. Place decoration. Um, where's the new one gone? So place decoration, we want treasure, noggles, displays, resources, miscellaneous, is it under that? Oh, well that's weird, it says I've only got one. Am I, is there a limit on how many I can have? Because that's weird. If anyone knows the answer, do shout that out, because uh, honestly, I don't. Yeah, so, Pago has been my favourite for a few days. So as you can see, I'm pretty much only equipped with the bow here, which I do like, because top right of the screen you can see their stealth affinity. Very nice while you're doing this for levelling stuff. Do lose it on guys and gain it on others. I think the tougher mobs, they're not actually being one shot. It's the proc firing. Yeah, see it went then because he became aware that he was being attacked. Oh nice, we've got that room. I love this room with this bug. Are they there? Yes, they are. That's one rope. If you get it just right and you're not stood in the wrong spot and they don't move, you can actually fire off all of them really quite easily and get a massive amount of uh, focus very, very quickly at 500 percent bonus and I kind of fluffed it there but never mind because this game does throw these cells at you in different directions so usually when I come in on the left I can actually manage that. In this room I found a much easier way of doing. I'm just going to go in and take out the first mob. There we go. Up here down to this bar land on it hit that one and then fumble around. Sometimes you can fly right in there. Across. I like to go around. I don't know. I've just got into the habit of doing that. Shoot there. Not all weapons will actually blow those. For instance, the uh, Ingus Wraith, it won't do it. No matter what you do. You have to be quite a distance away. Ten seconds. Okay. Let's just pull back from the beams. Is there a mob walking around in here? I think, yeah. Well, there was. Let's just back away from the beams. Invisibility again. Land on this bar. Hit that guy. And glide to victory. And then all you've got to do, solve the puzzle. There we go. And I always bring at least a few ciphers, just in case. Now, what we really want is a little focus thing. I don't know what they're actually called. It's the the little focus guy that you walk through and get a big focus boost. Is it called a focus boost? It probably isn't. Yeah, you always get the same three puzzles, but in various orders. So you go 200%. There's one. Right. And... What are we on now? 300... Eight four hundred. Five hundred percent. Ah blew it. Yeah, my invisibility ran out just a little too soon, but you can see there. If you get this just right. Let's get that guy. Yep, he wasn't aware. 
Yeah, they can't be alerted in any way, so if the alarms go off, you won't. this won't work. That's basically what I found. <laughs> Which, for this mission, it's actually quite hard to set the alarms off. You know, unless you're completely new to it. Oops. Okay. Won't get one on him. Get on him. Oh, too slow. Yeah, see that guy was looking around. If they're looking around, they know you're there. And this has kind of become quite routine. Okay, we've got the hole up there. You can use that. I'll show you. You don't get it every time, though. It's, like, kind of random when you do get it. Going invisible again, just so I don't cock this up. Because when you complete as undetected then oh god yeah if you complete as undetected you get quite a large bonus and it stacks with the um experience booster packs you get but not with the stealth bonus unfortunately so you've got 100 percent there but oops he said cocking it up See, I got a boost, but I didn't get 100% extra. I mean, if we could get the 500%, I'd be going for that every time, just to rank up weapons for mastery. Okay. 100, 500. There we go. Broke, broke the streak there, but... Yeah, this is probably something everybody knows about, but nobody thought to tell me. <laughs> How to rank stuff quickly. I mean, it's probably far faster in... Uh, in a team doing that same mission over and over three waves of it in uh, Sendar I can't even remember the name of it uh, if, you know if you just want to go at your own pace and you're kind of half watching a movie out the corner or something on YouTube etc this is quite a nice uh, relaxed way of doing it actually I quite like it I see if you're not on an invisible class is very tricky can be done. I have done it without when I've been, like when I was leveling up the new um, Excalibur frame, which I really like. I just need to do a lot of work on it to make it work. And it isn't so much that I don't have the endo, which I don't. I don't have the credits either. Uh, I just haven't been playing long enough to, to get everything. 100%. somehow notified one of the others that we were here. Sometimes you'll get away with uh, hitting three or four at once and jump up to 500% and then hit something big and strong. Didn't get it on that one, even though he didn't set off the alarms or detect me. It's got to be a clean kill. Yeah, didn't get it on him either. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Seems fairly random. I don't really know what... Uh, what the criteria is. However, I seem to be getting it quite often when I'm concentrating. It's like trying to talk and doing one of those ciphers. It's, it looks really easy, but I struggle like hell to do it, you know? And I, uh, I invariably talk live over the games I record and play for YouTube, just for the spontaneity. Okay, lose it there, we've got one guy down there. 100%. Let's see if we can get up to five. Okay, are you alerted? Oops. No, 400. He is. I don't want to shoot him. I want to shoot someone who's not alerted. Like those two. Yes, nice. Kept the 500, so... Won't get it on him. He's alerted as well. We want to kind of keep it going as long as we can, but we obviously we need to be killing stuff to earn that focus. Ah, there you go, it's blown. Never mind. Right, let's GTFO. Get the fluff out. Yeah, you kind of just spotted that in time that I was going to run out there. Yeah, currently with the setup I've got invisibility on this tune is running at approximately... 30 seconds. Okay, didn't tag him. Sometimes he looks aware. You don't. See when they look casual? You 
can get that bonus all the way up. He didn't twig for him. He has the bombard. Oops. And she definitely is. You can see when they start pointing their guns around, etc. Like all of that, oh, that's it. We're blown. Once that alarm sounds, party's over on uh, using the stealth XP bonus because all the mobs become technically aware of you, even if they can't see you. It's kind of nice, really. Like him there, he was definitely aware of something was happening. His imminent death. So, yeah, there is that. There's none around here. Okay, let's bail out of here. Yeah, there we go. 11 ranks on the Vasto in very little time. Nine minutes. I kind of swung the lead a bit in this one because uh, I'm recording, etc. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. I'll uh, very quickly, though, show you how far I've got with the new Excalibur frame. Okay, so here he is. So on his Exalted Blade, which is now its own weapon, you can see there I've got Sacrificial Steel. I've moved it up slightly not much uh, i've left these two all the advice i've seen online from you know like the the really knowledgeable players and stuff is don't form these two slots and put regular like if you've got a primed um pressure point it is better than this one but it doesn't they don't get that stacking effect when you've got two things in there so i've only got it at this at the minute which gives me blast and corrosive now the reason i'm getting blast is the last uh, elemental mod I've got on there is Molten Impact and that works rather like it does on Chroma. If you go to appearance here, see his energy I have set to a blue colour. It's very pale blue I know, but it is blue. So when that stacks with that one you get that and the dread. So on Umber himself I've just gone for Corrosive I haven't got power drift, so unfortunately I'm stuck with this at the minute, just making this a little better. I really need to get power drift sorted out. Um, it just hasn't spawned for me on Lua yet. Uh, I should be able to do it though. So we've got the umbral intensity that I'm working on. You can see I've got it within two points there. Uh, umbral fiber vitality. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with these. They're pretty awesome mods, kind of thing. Uh, prime flow, continuity. And then the important one, Chromatic Blade, which is very nice. Streamline and then Vigor just to bump him up a little bit more. There's probably other ones you can put in there that I don't have that could maybe better. But I, I kind of like him set up like this. And of course, what I really need to do is get one of these Arcanes unlocked because I don't have any yet. Um, I need to go farming Eidolons. And I think it's the Energize one where you jump out in operator mode and when you jump back in you give your frame full energy that is the one i want to go for i think first unless someone wants to tell me no the one you want to go for is in fact and blah 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 so yeah but you can see their umbral intensity affects how well his exalted blade works so if we go to mods uh, i have nowhere near enough credits at the minute that's this is where all my credits have been going uh, if I want to go on to the next one, you can see there it's quarter for that. Then it's going to cost me nearly a mil, and then all the way there. And I don't have the uh, endo for that either. But that gives my um, like umbral fiber. That goes all the way there. And then on intensity, can I go any further? No. I need half a mil to go one step further. But I do at least have that. And if I wanted to max it, I'm going to run out of endo. And I need one and a half million credits to get it done. So a lot of work to do yet on those. And of course, I still want to max out Prime Flow, etc. Because when he is full, then that means he can just run around with Exalted Blade, you know, in LOL mode. So yeah, that's what I've been doing with him. On the new Limbo, I, I haven't even got all the relics I need yet. I've been working on it, but I don't have them as yet. So we've got, like, nothing in Lith, and there are a few you need from that. I've got that, the Mezzo Z1, and I need to get that to Radiant to get Limbo Prime Blueprint, at least have a chance of the basic blueprint, and then down there, I've got the Prime Chassis, and then Axie, nada, haven't got that one yet. So there is a good guide by Tactical Potato, 
uh, our Irish friend uh, about that. But yeah, I do like uh, this. I think uh, he's awesome. I really like him. Uh, I haven't played him much. I, I kind of want to get everything together. Whenever I do play him and whip out the Exalted Blade and run around, it is a lot of fun. It is. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing with Titania because I can't quite remember how I had her set up, but uh, let's just pull her into the mix again. There we go. So she's now got two weapons. This one, this melee thing, I've never really used and haven't done anything with it much and just chucked in some basic mods there. And then on the, the more important one, these two, you can see that I've thrown these in. There's a few others I, I want to do. Um, probably get Gunslinger to max, get that fire rate all the way up. Uh, I honestly think that would be really nice, but obviously I have to form that and level it all the way back up again. So, yeah, interesting. She is still loads of fun to play, but yeah, I need I need to do more work, do I? I don't think I've even put continuity on it yet. Yeah, I need to do that, can I? No, I need to form her another slot in order to get prime continuity on. Oh well. So yeah, I've got stretch. Do I need stretch? I don't know if I even need stretch. See, intensity, basic is 30%, umbral 36 as far as I've got it. But that's as it is now. If I were to also add fiber or vitality, then that would bump up. Um, and that's the way those work. They kind of stack with each other and have a... Uh, a synergy effect, I think, is the right word. So, yeah, lots to do. A mastery rank while I'm just churning out crappy weapons. There you go. When they're done, I'll start working on those next. So I've got up as far as mastery... Oh, God. Mastery rank 11, uh, which I fluffed. So I've got to wait until tomorrow. I'll do, like, several practice runs before I carry on. Her, I've kept her energy colour set as orange because I like this helmet with the candles on it. See, she's got a birthday cake for a head. Okay, folks. Bye for now.